I wonder how many times in the history of the world this has happened. God gives a people, a nation, a government, a king, great power, and then they abuse it. And they claim that that great power came from some false god. Well, that's what happened with Babylon in Isaiah 47. God is dealing with that and telling them that they're not going to get away with that. He says in Isaiah 47, verse 6, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. He says, I, I allowed you to go and to take my people into exile because I was angry with them and I was using you as a chastisement upon them. But you went way too far. You showed them no mercy. On the old men, you laid the heaviest of yokes. And so because of that, God goes on. He says, therefore, now hear this. Thou that are given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me, I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said. None seeth me, thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. They trusted in their sorceries. They trusted in their idols. They were involved in enchantments. They lived in pleasure and wealth and luxury, and they were cruel. They were cruel to the people that, that they oppressed, the people that they subdued, and what they didn't realize, what the king of Babylon didn't realize, what the princes of Babylon didn't realize, is that the power and authority that they had as a nation did not come from those false gods and it did not come from their enchantments and their wizardry. It came from God. And they did not acknowledge God. As a matter of fact, they, they hated God because they were unbelievably cruel to his people. In the book of Romans chapter 13, verse 1, it says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God, the powers that be are ordained of God. Every government on the planet throughout all ages needs to understand that the only reason they exist is because God has allowed them to exist. And they need to understand that God will hold them accountable for the way that they treat people. It's important. We can't be cruel. We, we can use the power that God has given to us and we should use it for good. We should use it to punish evil, to reward good. We should use it to help people. We should use it for the benefit of all of mankind. But what happens? So many times the same thing that happened with Babylon happens with these governments and these rulers. They let it go to their head. They say, I did this. It's all me. And if you remember, God had to take the king of Babylon and turn him into a beast for a period of time because he claimed exactly that which we read here. I, it's all me. I did it. There's nobody else beside me. Well, we need to humble ourselves and realize there is somebody else beside us. Everything that we have is a gift from God. No matter whether it be our job, our home, our income, our financial situation, the family that we have, our position and status in life, our business, our Maybe, maybe you're a, a senator, a representative, a judge. Maybe you have some kind of, of important position like that. You need to remember why you're there. Don't be cruel. Don't be merciless. Don't oppress people. And do that which is right. Oh, and by the way, get on your knees, humble yourself, and trust Jesus. He's our only hope. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.